guys welcome to another youtube video so today we are gonna go through what in a day video ehp labs update i haven't been tracking my calories for like a month now i've stopped because i realized that i was trying to eat less and obviously if you guys know and follow me i lost my period due to under eating and over exercising and every time i try to lose weight i'll lose my period then I started tracking my calories, eating more, making sure I'm getting the calories in. But I still had that restrictive mindset around calories. So I thought, you know what, I'm going to stop tracking because I know it's affecting me in a way. I'm kind of intuitively eating now and I'm going to share some tips and how I've switched around from that with you guys in today's video. Um, but yeah, starting the morning with greens. Uh, these are... Oxy Greens from EHP Labs. These are literally so good. I've never had greens that I can just drink like a squash or water. It is amazing. So, you guys can use Jesse 10 to save. I use the strawberry margarita flavor. Hold out, HP Labs, this flavor. But they do have forest berries. And I've heard it's really good. I've not tried it myself, but I'm sure if this one tastes this amazing, that one is also at the same level. Right, we're going to get on to breakfast. Here it is, my breakfast. So here... I made the oat milk latte and then here I'm gonna put this recipe up on Instagram so make sure to follow me if you don't but this is blueberries overnight oats and butter it's new almond butter from Pippa Nut Crosstown cinnamon scroll but I do think I prefer the normal almond butter compared to this one um, but yeah here she is in all her glory Overnight oats, um, to be honest, it's not really the weather for overnight oats, but I was really fancying them. And I sprinkle a bit of chocolate on my coffee. But I have no idea how much the almond butter weighs. So that's something I used to always do, just count, like, weigh all my fats. And I was like, you know what? I'm not going to weigh them anymore because why should I? There's no point. I'm not trying to lose weight. Healthy, like, fats are good for you. Um, so I'm not gonna weigh them anymore because I used to always restrict myself to have 10 grams of nut butter Nothing more nothing less. So here's your reminder that fats are good. So stop limiting them um, But yeah, I'm gonna eat this and then I'll catch you in the next clip So I had like two cookies out of this massive box because that's what I do in between meals. I literally just snack whatever I can that's already cooked in the fridge. And some unwashed grapes. Thinking what I want to make. I'm in between a bagel and I'm also between like a tortilla. Like a Spanish tortilla with eggs and wrap. If I have a wrap, that's what I'm going to make. I do have a wrap. And it's not out of date, and it's the last one. So we are making a Spanish, not Spanish. It's not even Spanish, it's just an egg omelette in a wrap. But it just sounds Spanish because you call it tortilla wraps. So we're gonna take three eggs, some ham, a wrap, and mm, we'll put some avocado inside. Yes, avocado. And avocado let's do this I just smashed three eggs and now I'm like making them into a little omelette salt pepper a bit more salt because I love salt I just added the eggs to the pan now I'm gonna put this on top I'm just gonna press it a bit and wait for like two minutes and then flip it around so this is flipped so I just put the ham on this side and now we're gonna add avocado as well. And I've also added a bit of rucola, or however you say, rucola, just for some like veggies and stuff. And now we're just gonna 
half this like that and then fold into two right so this is lunch this is the wrap I'm just gonna show you inside so egg ham cheese ricola avocado and this is Nando's sweet chili jam because I'm obsessed with this I literally opened this last week and this is how much it's got left like I'm obsessed mm. that was such a good choice high protein healthy fats and carbs what else what else what more else can you want from a meal? Here we go. So guys, I wanted to get into intuitive eating. I've recently started intuitive eating, literally like a month or a month and a half ago. Um, literally, I have been tracking my calories or I had a meal plan for five years. Like five years, I've been either weighing everything I'm eating or tracking everything I'm eating. Uh, just to stick to my meal plan or stick to my calories. Go through some tips to help those of you who want to start intuitive eating. One is stop weighing yourself. Um, purely because if, if you're someone that obsesses over your own body weight, which is what I was doing. So like my worth was based on whatever the scale was saying. If the scale was too high for my expectations, I'll be sad and I'll have a shitty day and I won't eat trying to be a certain way you're gonna manipulate the way you're eating um and that's when you're gonna over restrict yourself over restrict calories and all of that cut out food groups and allow yourself to have everything you want because like just think about yourself when you were younger what would you do you would literally say yes to everything you wanted so if you're someone that restricts and or you're waiting for the perfect day to have your donut to burn enough calories then stop doing that. Literally, if you are craving a donut, just have it. Restricting your calories and restricting what you're eating. And if you're saying, I'm not going to have the donut today because I haven't burnt enough calories or whatever your reason is, or I'm waiting for the weekend to have my donut, you're then going to end up binging on food. So the best way of doing that is just saying yes. Like, I'm, I'm craving chocolate. I'm just going to have it because that's what I want. And just know that you're gonna go into the vicious cycle of binging, restricting, binging, restricting. So just have the damn dough. Not start slowly if it feels overwhelming. Um, I'm sure it feels overwhelming ditching my fitness pal and deleting it tomorrow. But if that feels overwhelming, then try to not track at the weekend. Try to have three days where you're not tracking at all a week. Uh, whatever days you want, just set in a week, some days you're tracking, some days you're not. And on those days, let yourself eat what you want, not what my fitness pal or your calories say you should. Being aware of the calories every day will slowly make you drift away from that calorie counting mindset. These are my tips for you and I hope you found this helpful. And if you need any help with intuitive eating or anything like that or tips or you're struggling with body image and food and all of that, always feel free, to, feel free to message me on Instagram, follow me if you don't, and I'm more than, help, than happy to help. So I just went to Tesco's and I got hungry when I was there, so I got this, I got the Trek bar peanut, finished it already but I had it in my, back, in my pocket and it reminded me to tell you guys, this was my snack. Um, but yeah, it was really good and I'm gonna get ready for dinner soon Right guys, so it's dinner time. So I'm making my food. I'm making noodles for dinner and this is What I'm making so here I'm making why is it not focusing? Anyway, I'm making prawn noodles and I'm gonna add satay stir fry sauce So here's my dinner. So I made the noodles and then the two dumplings there. The dumplings are vegetable dumplings. Dump. Put a load of veggies because my veg game has sucked ass today. But let's give it a go. Mm. Mm. Perfect. Chef's kiss. 
I'm gonna eat this. Obviously watching Netflix, I'm watching Gilmore Girls at the moment. I'm gonna eat this and then maybe I'm gonna have something after. Well, you'll have to wait and see. And last bit, obviously had to finish with a bit of dessert. So yogurt, high protein yogurt, granola, chocolate, blueberries and strawberries. That concludes a full day of eating. Um, like kind of eating intuitively, like nothing of this is literally tracked. Um, so yeah, it makes me feel good. I feel good. Um, hopefully it will continue to be like this. And I hope you guys learned something from this video and that you found it helpful. Subscribe, like the video, hope you found it helpful and I'll see you guys in the next one.